online at consumerqb.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show. Ben Decker in the house coming up in just a moment. AC guy of Tampa Bay. He's a field supervisor. And before we do, uh, we have our feel good story coming up. And we like to feature our real estate listings on air to help our sellers profit more and sell faster, uh, utilizing our innovations with radio, TV, and internet marketing. Uh, 80 outlets worldwide. 9221 New York Avenue in Hudson. This is a $2.7 million listing, 30 acre property, industrial development opportunity at 9221 New York Avenue in Hudson, Florida. This is Pasco County, uh, one of our hot listings, and it's strictly for industrial development. Uh, this property is, is not going to work for residential. I've had some calls and contracts on it already. 30 acres, but the county wants it to be industrial. Reason why is they want to create jobs. 9221 New York Avenue in Hudson, and you can see all of our real estate listings at Platinum MVP Team. Dot kw.com So good story of the day. This is about the wearable muscles. Uh, interesting story. A set of wearable muscles with a profile similar to a shoulder sling could increase mobility and strength in the arms of people who have lost it. Uh, Michael Hagman uh, has a rare form of muscular dystrophy, and uh, his muscular output was increased by 61% thanks to the kind of to a kind of exotendon called myo shirt, which allows which learns the movements Hagman wants to make before raising and lowering a cable similar to a human tendon in order to apply mechanical advantages to his actions. The Mayo shirt is soft, wearable mus- exo muscle uh, for arms and shoulders and a kind of a vest with cuffs for upper arms accompanied by a small box by a small box containing all the technology that is not used directly on the body uh, smart algorithms detect the user's movements and the assistance remains always in tune with them uh, the mechanical movements can be tailored to their individual preferences and the user is always in control and can override the device at any time at the moment the box containing the motor and computer parts weighs close to nine pounds, so the team's first priority is to develop a full prototype with an even more discreet profile to allow people to use it in day-to-day life as often as possible. So there you have it. Discreet, wearable muscles restores the mobility in those who are having trouble moving their arms. Seems like technology's making advances everywhere. And let's welcome in AC Guy of Tampa Bay, Ben Decker. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Glad to be here. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming in. And you are the field supervisor. Tell us a little bit more about what you do on a day-to-day. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I go to various calls throughout the day. Uh, it could be anything from maintenance, service calls, um, you know, sales calls. I pretty much do everything. Yeah, nice. I like it, man. So what what is some of the, you know, with the Consumer Quarterback Show, we like to talk about consumer advocate tips, things to do, things to avoid, kind of what to look out for. What do you see in your industry that could be deemed a consumer advocate tip? Yeah, so uh, a big thing is uh, um, people who claim to be contractors that aren't. Oh, you know? wow. Wow. Slap on the mic a little bit there. So contractors that aren't. So they they literally don't have a license. They're just showing up as like a handyman or something? Right. Yeah. So they're showing up. They, they claim that they know what they're doing. But um, in reality, you know, they, they create more harm than good. Yeah. Um, a lot of these people, you can find them on Facebook or something. And, right. And so, Craigslist. Yeah. So uh, they're not pulling permits for anything. Um, that would probably be the biggest thing. Um, and then also, you know, our company, we go to classes to learn more about like indoor air quality and stuff like that so you know we know uh, a little bit more about certain things than somebody who claims to so right yeah you're constantly taking those continuing education classes like right like real estate agents do attorneys do and you're, right. you're up to date and uh we you know we've known greg and jordan for a long time they've been show partners now for probably four or five years right. on the program so we highly recommend the ac guy of tampa bay uh, if you are considering something around your home or uh if you've ever thought about having a vip program now i love the vip program it keeps the the units running proper it's right. it's in i know there's some uh some metaphors there relating it to an oil change for your vehicle you know exactly. you wouldn't drive your vehicle however many miles right without right. that let's talk about that vip yeah program. so um you know it's one of the major appliances in a house you know it runs like three thousand hours a year especially in our climate um so something that we have is our 16 dollars a month vip program um, we come out we do two maintenances a year 
Uh, one of those is a normal maintenance where we check over all the electrical, uh, amperage, you know, you name it. Um, and we want to make sure that you're satisfied, you know, that you're breathing healthy, uh, that sort of thing. So we go over any issues that a homeowner might have. Uh, and then the other one, we clean the unit. So um, one is a normal maintenance, the other one's a cleaning. You know, we sanitize down the unit, uh, you know, spray the coils down. Um, and, and a big part of that is a drain line. We do that on every single call uh, just to make sure that we don't have people calling us back because of drain lines. Right. Um, so for $16 a month, uh, you really can't beat it. Um, if you have any issues where you need service, you call us and we come out. Um, it's a discounted rate. doesn't matter what time of uh, day it is. It could be nights, weekends, doesn't matter. Um, that rate just moved to $69 a month or 60, $69 service call um, for us to come out. You know, obviously prices on everything have gone up, but it only went up $10 from 59 so, Yeah, that's still a great deal. $16 yeah. a month, you got the VIP plan, your service throughout the year, you're maintaining your units. And, um, you know, and then when you do get the calls, it's, it's at a, you know, pre, pre you know, a rate for the premium customers, right. so to speak. Exactly. Yeah, that's awesome. And and speaking about costs going up, I, I remember Greg being in here talking about, hey, when we roll over to 2023, there's new regulations that come into play. Correct. Can you talk a little bit about the supply chain and what you're seeing on that side of it? Um, yeah, so certain units are really hard to get, um, especially if you have like a package unit, like a mobile home or something. Um, they're they're kind of hard to get for us right now. Um, but they're changing the way that they're rating the equipment. So the minimum is a 14.3 sear, which is kind of equivalent to a 15 sear or something like that. Um, so it, it, there's a lot of changes that are happening. And honestly, I think it's happening a little too fast. You know, our economy needs to grow up a little bit or build up a little bit, <laughs> not <laughs> yeah. necessarily grow up, but, um, but yeah, so, you know, there's a lot of changes that are happening. So it's driving the prices up, right. um, you know, our, our equipment costs have gone up a lot over the past year. Um, so it's another, another thing. If you're looking to get a new unit or you need an estimate on a new unit, I would do it now before later because it's going to continue to rise. Right. Yeah. Things are going up and, you know, inflation. And then, you know, I think the point you're making earlier too is, is, you know, it comes back to onshoring because so many years we, for decades, we offshored so many things overseas, right. China and different places now, you know, and we notice, I think it, it, you know, we recognize some of our vulnerabilities when the Chinese virus hit and, you know, we had this pandemic and, you know, oh, wow, we got to order it and we got to wait on the cargo ships to come. Right. And that really hurt the supply chain. I know a lot of builders that were going into situations where uh, they were ordering trusses, you know, they were trying to build a home for someone and they had to wait on the trusses yeah you know that's a major component you can't really go further than <laughs> you can't that do much without it. yeah without yeah. that so um but yeah it's basically the same thing that's going on you know um you got all these people trying to buy equipment and and sometimes you know um companies are buying up everything like ductwork you know i remember when uh you couldn't go to the store to get ductwork because people anytime it would come in on a truck people were buying all of it wow I mean, it, 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 it got really crazy for a while, but it's starting to come back. So. Yeah, we need to. I was actually researching a story about it. It said something about uh, the amount of truck trailers that were uh, sold in December was the highest amount on record. So it, so it seems like the, the logistics in this country are coming back, uh, taking a little bit longer, of course. If you just joined us, uh, we're talking with Ben Decker, AC guy of Tampa Bay. Uh, he works with uh, Greg and, and Jordan Bowman over there at the AC guy of Tampa Bay. You've heard them on the program before. Uh, I teased this, this earlier in the show. I want to mention it. Uh, home builder sentiment rises in January for the first time in a year thanks to lower mortgage rates. Uh, so the sentiment rose to uh, four points to 35 on the National Association of Home Builders slash Wells Fargo Index. And uh, it says, here's a quote from Robert Dietz. He's the uh, chief economist for the NAHB. So they're forecasting a decline for single family starts this year compared to 2022. And it appears, it appears to be a turning point for housing uh, lying ahead. So, so I think it's a lot of it's driven by the rates of the, of the cost of money. And, and that's a big part of it. So home builder confidence uh, seems to be coming up and you look at some of the predictions before, you know, the sky is falling. Oh, it's going to be a crash. No, it's not. It's just a reset. It's not a crash. So that's my uh, two cents on this article. This was a uh, C NBC article, but uh, I'm going to go back to Ben Decker. Ben, uh, about a minute back to you. Uh, tell us, you know, how people can connect with you and, and just maybe a final thought. Yeah. Um, so currently we're running a special on air purification. 
uh, where you buy an air purifier and you get a UV light free or $100 off. Um, it's a really good deal. Um, indoor air quality is an essential part of an air conditioner. However, it doesn't come with it. Yeah. Uh, so I recommend getting something or at least having an indoor air quality specialist come into your house and kind of give you some tips and ideas of what, what will work for you because every house is going to be different. Um, so we're running a special on that. You can give us a call, 727-286-3170, or go online at acguyoftampa.com. acguyoftampa.com. Uh, ben Decker, thanks for coming in. He's the field supervisor, AC Guy of Tampa Bay. Thanks yeah. for coming in, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. Say hello to uh, the team for us. Will do. Awesome. Awesome. Good stuff. So, yeah, hey, that's a great offer there. I, we have that system on our home, and it just gives you that extra peace of mind knowing you've got uh, that technology in there, that uh, kind of a laser beam, I guess, kind of going through there, killing stuff in the light, right? Exactly. It vaporizes yeah. everything. Vaporizes it. Cool. All right. Hey, another great show. I want to thank Mark Hay, 21st Century Financial Group, Sam McCown, Alive and at Peace Coaching, and also, of course, Ben Decker, AC Guy of Tampa Bay. We want you to please go out there and consider Consider committing a random act of kindness. Do something kind for one another. Be a force for good in the community. And we'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Call Brandon Rhymes at 813-917-1894. That's 813-917-1894. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show.